slowly carrying down these four by 10 half inch sheets. Uh, I got 20 sheets, I got five of them down here. I got <laughs> ways to go yet, but I figured I'd stop and take a little video and show you guys kind of what we're up to down here. Now you guys can hear in the, in the background, the furnace running. Uh, when we bought this house last year on uh, December 16th when we closed, this house is on two natural gas fireplaces and it only had air conditioning in the kitchen upstairs or in the dining room rather so i pulled the ceiling all apart uh last year and uh well, last february it's been already geez, it's been a long time <laughs> anyway uh since we did the furnace and the doctor work and all that stuff in the central area we figured we might as well come in here and do all the other upgrades since we're here so we have wired in 30 of these pot lights down here these are 5000 k leds uh, of course we had to do bulkheads for all the duct work and around the beam and whatnot that was a pre-existing bulkhead that's got the the gas line for the furnace and all the services to go into the bathroom and for the laundry room and all that all that runs through there of course the panels behind that door there but it's a mess back there so i'm not gonna take you guys in there just yet i was thinking about changing these windows out to some vinyl ones uh if i can find that size um hadn't really looked all that hard but anyway here we did a uh kind of working on a uh home theater set up here i guess uh you guys know i picked up a 75 tv last year in march at my old place I had it up there just momentarily we we're gonna put it up here of course the wife had this fireplace that her, I think her grandfather built so uh i'm gonna put that with a 75 inch on top and then uh work on some shelving unit here of course i'm gonna drywall around those I'm gonna get another power bar off Amazon. I'm gonna build it into the wall here and I'm gonna plug it obviously into the outlet there and uh, mount the uh, power strip in there so you don't see any of the cables for the TV and whatnot. We have a little sound bar down there. I do have the PlayStation and whatnot and all that jazz to hook up down here. So that'd be pretty cool. And then right here is about the only original part of the house left. <laughs> I've changed everything else. Oh yeah, that's in the messy old garage there, but Bring a drywall in, of course, I'm gonna probably change this rail and put it on this side and do a wraparound post with a banister and whatnot. So that'll be nice. I got a little situation here to figure out because I want to slide one more shelf in here, but uh, quickly realized my stair stringer's in the way here. So anyway, I'll figure something out for that. I'm gonna have to notch out that shelf and put it in there or you can't really notch a stair stringer. So, I mean, that's, that's not advisable to do, but uh, I framed this closet in here for the wife and you know summer started junk and whatnot of course oh yeah you got all kinds of stuff going on here bits and pieces for the rest of the house down here still so of course before the drywall guys show up we need to clean all this stuff out of here of course you got uh tractor photo books and a couple farm toys and boxes sitting down there oh yeah all the farm toys are still sitting in the garage out in the box you got little dog piles everywhere uh that's the laundry room kind of that area there, I was I put the bathroom back together down there, but that's really not that important. Although in the toy tractor hoard room 2.0 here, uh, actually kind of been spending some time here during the last week or so. Tinkering in here, I got the walls painted. Of course, I think you saw in the last video. Uh, still a couple of spots to touch up. Got to fix my LED light. I didn't get up there perfectly, but that's a, supposed to be a flush mount LED. I call it a hospital light, but whatever. It's fairly bright. I uh, did all new, actually did all new video pieces. Put all new outlets in there last week. Now, I'm kind of disappointed with Amazon on this uh, because it was advertised as barn board wallpaper, but it doesn't really look like barn board to me. It's just more like a rustic, almost looks like hardwood floor. <laughs> but uh, I think once I get the shelves up there, I think it'll be a-okay. It'll look pretty cool with some antique tracks in front of the rest of the wall. But, Wanted something like this in my old house, but never really had the time or the care to do it. But now I got the opportunity to do it, so we're getting it done. Of course, I stuck the vent cover up there and the turn air cover down there. And it's still, like I said, paint top tubs. That's my access door for the uh, jet tub and the downstairs bathroom. And this year, I'm going to encase some MDF and then I'll put casing around that. We'll do that for all four windows down here. So, yeah, I'm getting this slap back together. Like I said, there hasn't been anything going on in the shop there in the last little bit i did pick up another steel sign i'm either going to put out 
in the shop or in the toy room. We got a poll on Instagram. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, obviously, this is all going to get painted and kind of dirty in there, but we're going to get that spruced up. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at with this project. And you know, we got lots of projects going on here, not just what's out in the shop. I have not touched the 80 or the 90. I did a little bit more wire wheel on the 80 about two weeks ago, but kind of holding off on doing too many video clips on that right now because I don't want to do like I did with the W4 and post a video every week of every little section I painted. I want to get it all in one shot, and then maybe when it gets ready for some color, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and we'll record painting it red with the tan wheels. So. Anyway, just a quick little update here for you guys and kind of where I've been. I know I haven't really posted too much here on YouTube lately, but uh, been a busy fella. Anyway, if you guys like that little, little video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.